Good morning, folks. We're starting in Kentucky, where a security cam at a woman's house caught a fireball. It's always exciting, even without perfect vantage points. The top article today is out of the American Geophysical Union, discussing the increasingly extreme sea level variation with an eye towards climate change. But speaking of climate change, had to give a few 4 a.m. choice words to Noah on this beautiful but SRM suggestive animation. They're talking about reflecting sunlight in the Pacific Ocean and elsewhere like the people haven't spoken their opinion on weather modification. The story of the year might be this. Dave Talbot's modified Velikovsky ideas about Saturn and planetary chaos in the early system. Now we're simply left with a disagreement about timing. The Thunderbolts claim ekporosis was during human times and now the experts are now left simply arguing for a different time period. Congratulations, Dave. Ten years later. Weather Watch. 30-day precipitation totals here show the high marks. Not going to stop in Australia either. Last night's evening news, we discussed a brief warning on the system, which was canceled minutes later. It was moments from getting its name, but good news. The system will not reach full potential. We could still see wind damage, flooding, and the storm surge warnings remain in effect. Could see multimeter waves. Let's go to Europe. Blending the lower level wind map with the temperature overlay to show how far south the cold makes it in Eastern Europe. I know Austria is getting a ton of snow. Low out in the Pacific has tightened, both itself and the convergence line now snaking down to the central Pacific, keeping them warmer than usual up in Alaska. Going to be a major snow day out west again. Southern states are enduring another cold morning, but which is hopefully set to go tonight. Quickly here, let's look at the current conditions at the North Pole. Right after upload yesterday, we got another gamma burst. It went Cetus, then Pegasus. Solar wind getting itself off the density floor as speed wanes. Our shield is awake again, only slightly startled. Sunspot analysis. The outgoing groups are firmly set on Earth's magnetic connection to the star and remains a proton concern as it turns. Our connection may ride it to the backside. The incoming groups are the real story though. Up north, we have a spreading magnetic letdown with a triple negative lead umbral group. Coming down south, the beast battling the solar magnetic shutdown to a draw. The longer solar trend is keeping us from getting the biggest flares, but this group is proving it belongs among the top spots with multiple M flares and delta classifications. Coming in closely, you can see those deltas and where the central vorticity of meshing is likely taking place. And just how powerful that delta in the 6 o'clock position of the largest backside umbra appears to be. Deep red next to deep blue. More flaring today is almost guaranteed. Got some shots of the beast to close. Eyes open. No fear at 6.35 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Be safe, everyone.